1800 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines The Special Assistant International Health Services says the National Disaster Management Authority is engaged in providing personal protective equipment to the frontline paramedical staff in hospitals across the country. The National Command and Operation Center at its meeting in Islamabad today reviewed implementation of Ramzan guidelines in the wake of coronavirus. The Special Assistant on Information and Broadcasting has assured that forensic report into the flour and sugar crises will be made public. The Minister for Industries says the relief package for small industries will be presented to the Economic Coordination Council for approval tomorrow. Nine terrorists have been killed in an intelligence-based operation of security forces in North Waziristan. In occupied Kashmir, the Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred three Kashmiri youths in Pulwama district today. In uh, the news in detail. The National Command and Operation Center at its meeting in Islamabad today reviewed the implementation of Ramzan guidelines in the wake of coronavirus, SME package, health situation and data integration. The meeting was chaired by the Minister for Planning and Development, Asad Umar. Speaking at the meeting, the Minister for Interior, Ijaz Shah, said population in the urban areas needs to be continuously educated to follow the guidelines and not operate business as usual during Ramadan. He said population in the villages is following guidelines, which is encouraging. He said the political leadership, particularly at the district and union council levels, has most important role to educate the masses for public safety and well-being. On the occasion, the Minister for Planning and Development, Asad Umar, said the provinces may be asked to give feedback on compliance by the people on Ramadan guidelines tomorrow. The forum dilated upon health situation and future course of action vis-a-vis -vis coronavirus. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister of National Health Services, Dr. Zafar Mirza, says the National Disaster Management Authority is engaged in providing personal protective equipment to frontline paramedical staff in various hospitals across the country. Addressing a news briefing in Islamabad this evening, he said all details regarding provision of equipment are available at the supply section of National Disaster Management Authority website. He said the government is working to further enhance testing capacity of various laboratories in the country. The special assistant said during the last 24 hours, 6,218 tests were conducted, out of which 783 tests were declared positive, while 15 deaths have been reported. Dr. Zafar Mirza said 80% positive cases are local transmission in the country. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in the country has soared to 12,723. According to National Command and Operation Center, these include 5,378 cases in the Punjab, 4,232 in Sindh, 1,793 in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 722 in Balochistan, 308 in Gilgit Baltistan, 235 in the Islamabad Capital Territory, and 55 in Azad Kashmir. 2,866 patients have so far recovered, while the death toll from the virus stands at 269. The worldwide death toll from coronavirus pandemic has risen to 203,596, while over 2.9 million cases have been registered. According to latest data, 838,883 patients have recovered from the pandemic so far. In the United States, the death toll from the pandemic now stands at 54,000, while over 960,000 infections from the virus have been reported. Italy is the second worst hit country in terms of deaths, with 26,384 casualties and 195,000 infections, followed by Spain, with over 22,900 deaths and more than 223,759 infections. 
China's Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region has donated anti-epidemic material to the Punjab to battle COVID-19 pandemic. The material includes 1,000 N95 masks, 20,000 disposable medical masks, and 500 pieces of medical disposable protective suits. The items will be transported to the Punjab through Pakistan Embassy in Beijing. The governor of Punjab, Chaudhry Mohammed Sarwar, says Saudi Arabia has started providing ration to Pakistanis who have been who have become unemployed due to coronavirus situation. Addressing a news conference in Lahore today, he said Saudi Arabia always supported Pakistan in the hour of need. He said it is wrong to assume from a relaxed lockdown that the pandemic has been controlled. He said coronavirus is spreading fast and all necessary precautions should be taken. The Sin Chief Minister Sayyid Murad Ali Shah has directed for formulation of standard operating procedures for resumption of public transport in the province. He was talking to the Provincial Minister for Transport Sayyid Awas Shah in Karachi today. During the meeting, Sayyid Awas Shah apprised the Chief Minister about reservations of the transporters and problems being faced by them. Sayyid Murad Ali Shah said provincial government will address reservations of the transporters on priority basis. This is Radio Pakistan. The Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdaus Sashik Awan, has emphatically stated that the forensic report into the flour and sugar crises will be made public. Addressing a news conference in Sialkot today, he said the people will be apprised about the entire facts behind the crises. She strongly rejected the opposition leader Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif's allegations about the delay in presentation of the report. She said Prime Minister Imran Khan believes in across-the-board accountability and that is why he formed a commission to unmask the real faces behind the crises. She said all the responsible institutions were made part of this commission and since it had to carry out forensic audit of the last three years, it requires time to complete the process in the most transparent manner. She said the commission has demanded extension in its period of three weeks and this request will be presented before the cabinet for approval. The special assistant said a relief package for the industrial workers has been prepared which will be approved by the Economic Coordination Co Council Committee tomorrow. The Ministry of Industries and Production will present Phase 1 of the relief package for small industries at the Economic Coordination Committee for approval tomorrow. In a series of tweets today, the Minister for Industries and Production, Hamad Asar, expressed the confidence that millions of small businesses and industries will benefit from this package after its approval from the ECC and the Cabinet. He said his ministry is also working on a collateral free financing for small and medium enterprises. For Phase 2 of the relief package, Hamad Azhar said Phase 2 will include targeted and prioritized relief measures for sectors mostly hit by COVID-19. Nine terrorists were killed and one was apprehended in an intelligence-based operation of security forces in North Waziristan. According to ISPR, the operation was carried out in Khaisura and Dusali areas. Two soldiers embraced martyrdom and five others were injured during the exchange of fire with the terrorists. During search of the area, weapons and ammunition was also recovered. In Yemen, separatists have declared autonomous rule in the southern part of the country, breaking a peace deal signed in November last year with the internationally recognized government. In response to this announcement, the Yemeni government warned of dangerous and catastrophic consequences, saying it is clear violation of the Riyadh Agreement. And finally, the weather. Mainly hot and dry weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 24 hours. However, rain when thunderstorm is expected in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Potohar region, Islamabad, Kashmir and adjoining hilly areas. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.